the uh, study of bioethics is actually very wide and uh, actually covers a lot of things. But as we study uh, bioethics, okay, within the Christian et uh, ethics uh, format, there are four uh, framework in which we should utilize as we want to think about uh, uh, bioethics or ethics. Okay. The first is the sovereignty of God. As we begin to face issue that begin with the beginning of life, stem cells. Okay, uh, I'm not going to touch abortion because you've done that, but uh, uh, the vaccine. Okay, we have to talk about bring that into context of the sovereignty of God. And the second principle is sanctity of human life. Okay, that means whatever we do should not and must not cause harm and as a consequence cause death. So we must always be aware of the sanctity of human life. And what is the scope of what we can do in medicine or in other areas of bioethics? Is the stewardship of man, okay, or what we call cultural mandate, that we are allowed, okay, by the concept of stewardship to make use of existing natural laws and science in nature to make up and break up. That means we can uh, uh, construct artificial synthetic life, we can construct, construct artificial intelligence. Okay, there's no uh, biblical or theological imperative that says you cannot do that within the scope of human stewardship. And covering that and linking with the first principle of the sovereignty of God is the way of love. It means whatever we do, whatever we do must be in love. Okay, that means we take care of human life, we are stewards, and we are to spread the 